So this is where it's gone, a little mixed media floral. Let's get started. I'm using a reject watercolor and I'm cutting strips of store-bought collage paper. You can buy this stuff at Michael's, uh, anywhere like that, uh, Hobby Lobby. I usually can find it in the scrapbook section. So anywhere where they sell paper for you know scrapbooking and things like that, you can normally find a good book of it. So just kind of look, cutting strips, trying some different patterns, uh, trying to get a feel for what um, would look decent. Again, since we're going collage and mixed media, pretty much anything goes. So, but I like to at least see how the colors work with what's there. Because so whenever I do a piece like this, I always try to leave a little bit of the original work um, showing. So the little urban scene there with the building and some figures. I like for a little bit of that to live in the final piece uh, just because I, you know, I worked on it. Even though the painting didn't come out to my expectations, I mean, why not just let it have an opportunity to um, become part of the next painting? Now, at this point, I want to uh, get the strips of collage paper uh, around the border. Um, this is just something I'm experimenting with. I think it's a lot of fun to play with. Um, you can use so many different patterns as the border. You can still frame them traditionally if you want. Uh, you can float them behind glass. You don't have to use glass or anything. Um, so that was CAD red light. You can see I'm just working straight out of a tube there. Um, so that, in general, a lot of artists and teachers will tell you, oh, don't use paint out of a tube. Even I teach that for the very beginners because I want you to get um, accustomed and knowledgeable in the mixing area. And it's important to know how to mix paint properly, how to get uh, use a six value scale, etc. Um, but once you do that, um, obviously you get some mileage under your belt and you want to start breaking the rules. Um, and that's what it's all about. Um, and maybe even bending the rules is more like it. Um, that was Cad Yellow Lemon. I put with the reds and then I'm just taking a damp brush and just sort of smearing those together. I also use a little bit of off-white grayish color to add the vase. And here I'm just exploring what it would look like to add a little bit of collage paper in by the background there just to break it up a little bit. So I decided on this one piece here. If you're cu curious about the glue, uh, that is, that's uh, Mod Podge. Um, I use a mat. The mat will dry flat. You won't get a shine if for some reason you get a little bit of glue on the surface. Um, and I, that, again, tends to work just fine. Here I'm using a liner brush and just adding some stem work. Uh, just something to attach the flowers to the vase. And again, don't, don't go too heavy. If you're sort of trying to get the same look I am, uh, you want, again, that original painting to show a little bit. So those neutrals and khaki color that's on the building and you even got a little bit of that figure on the bottom right hand side sort of poking through. That's fun. Um, and for the you know average viewer that looks at this painting, they probably wouldn't even pick up on it. Uh, but for me painting it, uh, I sort of do see it and uh, I kind of get a little kick out of <laughs> seeing some of that original painting underneath and just some of the you know objects and uh, things that were in there. So uh, here just adding some little dark centers for the flowers and a little cast shadow. And now I'll go back with a little bit of crisp white. And again, a very small brush, just adding a little sense of light hitting the vase on the left-hand side. That just gives the, uh, the vase a little more three-dimensional quality. And I'm just going to splatter some of that uh, white uh, into the flowers as well, just a little bit. You can see the whole goal here was to make it quick, loose, and free. Uh, don't overpaint it and overthink it. The high idea is to keep it fresh, clean, and simple uh, minimal strokes and we'll have a look at the finished piece here one more time so there it is i hope you enjoy the demo and it gives you some ideas on what you can do with some of your inferior artwork